All right, so on this video today, I really wanted to actually test out what TNT would do to this village that you see here. And overall, I just wanted to understand what would TNT do to it, right? We all know what TNT is capable of and all that fun stuff, but I really just wanted to know how much damage would it do to this village. You can see some slime, you see the cows, the pigs, the sheep, that little watchtower. There's even a golem here, just big chillin'. But really my goal today was to answer the question, how much damage would TNT do to this village? So really, my process was just to take a bunch of TNT and line it up in the village. So I kind of made this snake pattern, if you will, where I kind of chained all the TNT throughout the village, right? So I was careful to just make it sure it was in a straight line as much as I possibly could keep it in a straight line, that is. And I would just really go throughout the village. I spent probably like five to ten minutes doing this, making sure there was no gap between any TNT blocks. Overall, uh, this wasn't too painful, but there was a lot of clicking involved. You know, if I had to come across a big building such as this watchtower, I kind of just built upwards and around it. So I didn't kind of skip TNT around it. I made sure I kind of enveloped it with TNT. Um, same thing with like trees or anything like that. So just to keep the consistency there, I wanted to make sure that TNT was involved throughout this entire experiment. At this point in time, I was actually uh, encountered with a villager who was jumping up and down. I guess the villager was ready for this TNT fireworks show. And even the slime around the village were getting excited, it seemed. Or really, they didn't really know what was going to happen, if I'm being completely honest. Like I mentioned before, when I came across any obstacles, I would just build around it. So here, I'm in the sheep farm. I'm really just building over and around it, as well as the tree that's there. So I kind of just, again, built upwards and built a chain around it so that there would be continuous TNT throughout this entire experiment. As I continued to lay the TNT, two creepers decided to show up and just join the party. I think they wanted to help me out, so I was like, alright, great, you know, more the merrier. Um, so I guess they were ready for this TNT fireworks show as much as I was. Now there was a little building all the way outside of the village, a little farther out, and so I wanted to make sure I got it too. So I decided to make a straight line of TNT to it rather than continuing the snake chain. And so really I got around the entire building and loaded it up with TNT, uh, again dodging the slime and the, the mobs that I was running into since it was nighttime here. Now you can see the entire frame of the village lined up with TNT, again all connected starting at the top there and going straight to that building all the way in the back. Um, so I was ready to actually light the fuse and get the party started. As I fell down, I actually noticed something. A swarm of zombies just spawned and were attacking the village. And I saw that the golem was under attack too over there. And so I was like, all right, let's help this golem out. Let's help the village out. <laughs> let's light the fuse and let's get this started. Uh, and so just watch. I'll just let you watch. It's kind of crazy. The TNT did a lot more damage than I honestly expected it to. Uh, even taking out that little building on the side, you could see that the the top of a couple of the structures remain, like the roofs, uh, roofs, 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 the roof of two buildings, whatever the plural is, survived. But overall, the village was destroyed. Um, you could say it helped out the village by destroying the zombie swarm. Again, it just spawned out of nowhere. And you can see underneath the sun peeking its little head underneath the stone there. And I was like, ooh, let's get closer. And I was like, okay, never mind. Let's fly back up. It's a little bit scary. But overall, this was a pretty fun experiment, and I actually enjoyed it. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing with TNT in Minecraft a bit more and seeing what else it could do in the game.